Hey guys, so first of all, I just want to say sorry for how tired I look. I am so tired. Today was the first day of school. Um, I'm in second year university. I go to school for interior design, if you're wondering. And um, yeah, I've been up for a really long time and I only got five hours of sleep. Sorry, I'm rolling up my sleeves right now because they fell. Um, so yeah, that's why I look really tired and I have bags under my eyes and all that fun, fun stuff. So I have my lovely... Um, pumpkin chai tea from David's Tea, if you were wondering. It's like one of their fall things. It's like my new obsession. Um, that for a caffeine boost. So if you see me drinking that, that's what it is. Um, so I, sorry, there's something in my eye. Whenever I like have to go meet somebody or like have to give a presentation or I'm about to do a video, something gets in my eye and it's the most <laughs> annoying thing. It's like I'm cursed with something going in my eye. Anyways, um... I have gotten my hair really, really healthy, and it's actually, like, growing. Like, I know it grows because I have, I get roots. I don't have roots right now. Um, but, like, I'll get roots, and I'm like, why hasn't my hair grown? Like, I'm wearing extensions right now, but, um, my hair is actually, like, where is it, that long? Um, and it all had fallen off from bleaching it so much, and, just bleach over bleach and all this stuff that, oh, it was just horrible. So once it had fallen off, it never really grew again. It just kind of like, it would grow, but it would always get shorter and shorter and shorter because the ends were just so dead. It was just so fried. It just, it just broke off. So finally I was like looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, like my hair has actually grown like an inch. And I was so happy. So I thought I would show you guys what I've been using. Um, because I know a lot of you were wondering about how I hair, like how I got my hair so soft because like literally my hair is the softest softest it's been since it's been like virgin hair. Um, it, and that's really hard for me to say because I've been dyeing my hair since I was in grade six. I've been dyeing it for let's see six, twelve hair school for three years now like nine years and dying my hair for like nine ish years um and once you're blonde it's just not all that soft anymore so yeah um I thought I would show you guys the products that I've been using to get my hair back to health and to get my hair actually growing because I I love them and putting products in your hair and stuff really does make a difference I know a lot of people don't and that's what I was doing. I wasn't really using that many products, but really products make a difference. So this isn't sponsored or anything. These are just like literally products I use like every time I wash my hair, every time I flat iron my hair, anything like that. Um, so I guess what I've been using for the longest, I'll show you. Um, I use Moroccan oil products. This thing is like empty. Like I've used it to like its death. I have to like take this out to scrape off what's on the bottom because it's just like empty. Um, so this is Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream for all hair types. I use a little bit of this and um, generally if I'm using, like I have I have Moroccan products and I have macadamia, what are they? macadamia oil products. So if I'm using Moroccan oil and I don't use the macadamia, you know what I mean? But I, I kind of switch them up, I use both. Um, oh my goodness, this needs to get out of my eye. Okay, so I use a little bit of the hydrating styling cream. And I mean, these products are kind of pricey, but literally it took me probably like a year and a half to get through this, and my mom and I both use this. Um, so you really hardly need anything, because if you put too much, your hair gets oily and weighs, weighs down and stuff like that. So you really don't need a lot. It lasts you a long, long time. If you want to do, like, you know, like the calculations of how much it's going to be, let's say, per month, it'll make you feel better. I don't know. It makes me feel better when I do things like that, because I know I'm going to be using it, like, on the daily or on the other day or every, you know what I mean? So yeah, I use this. And I use, um, I've recently switched to the light one. I used to just use the regular one. Um, this is Moroccan Oil Light Oil Treatment for Fine and Light Colored Hair. Obviously, you know why I'm using this one. Um, it's just this oil. Um, I've almost gone through everything as well. As you can see, it's right there. This is my second bottle of this. This lasts like a year. All you have to do is go like this. Don't even push it up. And whatever is left on your hand, that is all you need. So, like, literally, you need nothing of this product. So, I love these two products. I will always forever love Moroccan Oil Line. I love it. If you watch my videos, like, from way back, like, a year or two ago, like, I still, I talk about them still. 
And um, I also thought I would throw this in here. Um, I really like this as well for when, when my hair gets like greasy. I only wash my hair like once or twice a week. Um, because it doesn't really get greasy, but then sometimes when it does, I'll put, like, powder on my hair, and then it just looks so flat and disgusting. So, like, I like to spray some of this. It's a gold glimmer shine. Um, it's from Rock and Roll as well. As you can see, I do use it as well. All you need is, like, a spray or two, and it just kind of, like, brings your hair back to, like, normal shininess, so it doesn't look so powdery, but it doesn't make it greasy again. So, yeah, I just thought I would throw that in there. Um, so now, if I'm using macadamia products... I only really like to use these two products. Um, I like their like hair mask better than this um, Lines hair mask. So I would recommend that if you're looking for a hair mask. Um, I don't really use hair masks though. I just like to glob on products right after a shower or before I blow dry my hair or whatever. So yeah, I use the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. This is equivalent to um, this like the oil, the oils, so you really need like nothing and you just spread it throughout your hair and that's it. And then I also like to spray this. This um, healing oil spray is equivalent to the Gold Glimmer Shine spray. Um, but I, this one actually I feel like does more for your hair um, than this one. So, I don't know. It's tiny but you don't really need anything. Um, also, I use this. I've just recently started using this probably a month ago, but I really like it. Um, you just like shake it to start it. And it's Revlon Professional Hydro Nutritive Conditioner Equave Two Phase for dry colored, permed, or highlighted hair, instant leave in conditioner with grape and green tea. Um, you can get this. This one's a little bit more affordable than all those, but I use these all together. Um, but like I said, Rock and Roll on one day, macadamia all on the other day, but I always use these next products I'm going to show you. So you can get this at like any like, um, what are they called? Like, um, like Sally's, places like that have this. Like everywhere has this and this. You can find them at hair salons everywhere. You can find them anywhere now. Um, now these, not so much sure where you can get these. My mom's hair salon sells this. She also sells this. But um, these are called Euphora. And this is the Fortify Strengthening Spray Re Restructurizer for chemically, for chemically treated or dry hair. Or no, for chemically treated or damaged hair. And I spray this all over my hair as well. Um, and I also use, this one is Euphora Curl and Spray Revitalizer. Um, instantly restores two curls and waves. I just feel like this just adds, this isn't, this one isn't really necessary, I guess, but I'm showing you everything I use. Um, this one just kind of, I feel like, gives me a little bit more volume and life to my hair than just putting in all these conditioners that are obviously just going to kind of make it, I don't know, just, I feel like this just gives it life. So, yeah, not necessary. Um, I don't really use a fancy conditioner. I literally use Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Moisturizing Conditioner uh, Coconut Milk with Orchid and Coconut Milk. And this is my second bottle. I just finished it, so I'm going to be on to my third bottle. This is like 2 or $3, and it's probably the best conditioner I've ever used, ever. You can get this at um, Walmart, Target, anywhere, like any drugstore. has this 2 or $3. Insanely good. Um, is that everything? Oh, lastly, I finally started using a leave-in, um, not a leave-in, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired, like I said, um, a heat protectant, and I think that's made a really, really big difference as well, because I almost use heat, I use heat basically every time I do my hair, so I spray this on, um, I use all of these on my extensions as well, it makes them really soft and really nice too, because you want to take care of your extensions as well, you don't want them to just, like, die because they're not cheap. So I use this, you spray it all over your head, then I'll like walk away and finish my makeup and let it dry because if you put this on and your hair is kind of like damp and then you use the straightener, it's defeating the purpose. You're frying your hair because it's wet. So this is from Got To Be uh, Guardian Angel. This one's the Gloss Finish Flat Iron. 
up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 degrees Celsius heat protectant. This is from Walmart. This was like five or six dollars. Really, really, really good. Really affordable. Um, so that is what I use. And I also try um, to not blow dry my hair anymore. I just kind of like to let it air dry or 90% air dry and then I'll just finish it off with the blow dryer and then I will spray this on. Well, I'll spray this on twice. I spray this on when it's wet and then I spray this on again um, for, when I, for when I blow dry it so it's fine. And then I'll spray it on after I'm done blow drying it again before I flat iron it. So I try to kind of make the least amount of heat on my hair as possible and um, I also use my my um, my flat iron on a low setting I use it I used to use it on like the highest setting that, that I had and I was like why am I doing that I have like thin um, like fragile little blonde hair like why am I using it on like almost 500 degree heat I don't need that so now I've been using it on I believe 260 or 280 um, I could probably go even lower than that but I feel like that is like a big reduction from what I used to use and yeah my hair has been really soft really shiny um really just like it's like back to life again like it's just so soft it's not breaking off it's finally growing so I thought I would just share with you guys what I've been using so you can just maybe research them uh the products to see if it would work for you or to try it out or I don't know I just thought it would be a helpful video for those of you who want to get your hair back to the way it used to be before we discovered this little thing called hair dye. Ugh. So um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I have some really exciting videos for you guys coming up. I'm doing a Karma Loop um, lookbook for back to school with some really awesome items and don't worry it's not all Karma Loop items. I'm mixing it with my own items and it's just I guess for inspiration for you guys for back to school looks. Um, I really like to, to watch those and also um, um, it, to, to show you guys the products because Karma Loop is like literally one of my favorite websites. I've ordered from them like plenty of times and yeah. So I have that video coming up for you guys. I'm probably going to start filming it after I do this and it might take a while because um, I really want to make it a good video. So that you have looking forward to um, and yeah. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day like I said and I love you guys so much and that's everything. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.